all right welcome it's gonna be coming up many well many i don't know if well maybe you could call that uh, demos in a row we are in a, one of the events where they will release demos um so yeah i'm gonna be checking out some quite a few demos here in a row i sp spent quite a fair amount of uh I'm trying to find the best ones. They might or might not be available when you uh, see this video because uh, it's uh, yeah some some develop developers will only release demos you know for this event and they will quickly then remove it. I don't think that's the best practice, but that is what it is. And the first demo here is gonna be kind of like an F zero influenced game called uh, what was it now let me bring up the page to verify what's going I'm on was that um there we go uh, so blah blah anti-gravity racer uh air air arrow gpx anti-gravity racer focused on high velocity flight Blah blah, machine to machine combat. So you have some uh, built in there. So you can race or you can crash the other ones. A bit like, like the F0 game. So the first thing is that when you tab out, this is a you know, personal thing. You might like or not like that, but um, the game will pause the audio. The game will not pause the game itself only audio will be paused when you tab out so uh, the game is running but you hear no audio because i tabbed out and it pauses the audio i don't like that but let's get into it interesting music here let's check the settings because i think as a demo it's key thing to have pretty much the menu up and running and some basic quality of life settings are working so we have resolution, we have window to full screen, we are off to a good start here. We have a frame rate limiter, which has some decent options here. And I, uh, it's there. Yeah, very good options. You can have VSync on or off. There we go, we are running at without VSync with frame rate limiting. You can up and down scale. I love that. That is really great to have. Anti-aliasing. We're gonna go with what they recommend. I this should get make the game a bit more blurrier, but hey, they recommend it, why not? This is interesting. We only have normal or low quality. Same here. So um, I did enable this, I'm pretty certain, but apparently this resets itself. So let's turn that one on. Audio starts at 50%. I like this, so that you don't have the just the maxed out cranked volume ever possible from the game. Starting off 50, you can raise it or lower it. It's a good thing. It's a you know a fairly decent starting point here. I like that you can and do this. Um, uh, this is, you know, not super necessary, but I like that to be able to disable it. Because when I'm in the menus, I don't need audio or anything. I just need to be able to browse through some things. Um, controls. I have no idea invert and what I needed to tweak since I haven't played this game. Seems to be some good thing. We can uh, rebind. I'm going to be using the game server T4K here. Uh, does seem to be supporting rebinding on both the gamepad and the keyboard and mouse. We're going to go with default for now. It looks accelerate is that one. Okay. And boost. Do we have a break? Okay. That's the break. Slam attack. Right button. That that one, okay. Right strafe and left strafe, okay. Spin attack. Drill dive. Right. Oh, in the air you can attack, okay. 
change the camera angle with the d-pad so we're probably going to be using the left joystick to go for some extra keyband that is not being utilized all right i'm gonna go with the default there we have no assist here this is default uh feel of you that's nice that you can tweak it let's start with the default uh okay Good that you can do that. Show reflection. Show performance. Ah, you have a built in. Okay, that's nice. 120 frames. Game, game, draw, GPU, draws. I guess we can keep that one on for this demo. Uh, so, right now I have also MSI off the burner and uh, it's uh, very lightweight so far. Let's see, single player. Let's start with just a single race here to see what's happening. Um, hmm. So this is just the default kind of one. Very high speed. Not as good as turning. This has... A, Bad uh, top speed, but accelerates and good at fighting. Okay, lots of different one. Pretty medium, but good at fighting. This seems to be higher at everything, though. Top speed, blah, but no fighter. This is not a fighter, but pretty good at all the other things. But yeah, pretty lightweight game. VRAM so far is around the 2 GB mark with OBS recording here, just above 2.2 GB. My RTX 3070 is around 40% GPU utilization in 1440p at 120 frames per second. Seems to be reasonably multi-threaded, but no thread. No tread is being overutilized. Alright, so we have this. Yeah, very F0 like. Alright. That's break. That's the boost. Alright. Cool graphic, uh, like a bit of cartoonish looking. Very fast. Not sure how we're supposed to utilize the. Ooh. Not sure how you're supposed to utilize the kind of strafe sliding thing there. So yeah, around 40% EPU utilization here in 440p, which is nice. main menu i want to try something here it, the performance is really great so um i want to try to remove that run the scale to 1.5 this should make 44p be 4k
and we're gonna go uh, system memory is very low in it. so it's a pretty lightweight game here so you should be able to hit 60 frames on you know low to medium computers pc hardware uh, especially if you're going for like a 1080p but yeah this should be 4k if you if this is working correctly um it should take you know 440p and upscale it and then should you know downscale it to 440p making uh, for the best sharpest anti-aliasing that's why i turned this one off uh, you could also you know use msaa or daa that might look better or use a little bit less resources this is the most heavy one but i'm curious to see it felt really good um some of the turning though i'm, I'm a little bit curious to you how to utilize i couldn't get like in f here you can kind of more easily get like uh, the kind of slide drift thing going um strafe was working <clears throat> yeah change camera instance blah 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 yeah i didn't get uh, that going let's go for a grand prix let's go for neutron cap go for standard here but if you like the f0 types of game this is very f0 like it's just you know nothing to say else this one just seems overall a better a better one a little bit slower maybe so let's try the default one here and i'll order like the first one they pick it should be that the first like character that is being should be like the first automatic character being picked that just is uh, like the all-round one I do really like this. It's kind of like a cartoon. It's almost borderlands cell shaded look here, but not a, not the not one hundred percent cell shaded. But yeah, I guess it might fit in the, into that category. Right. It does look like you don't have your boost <laughs> from the get-go I do think I wanna would like to remap one action here we have boost hey, hey, what I get really uh, stuck there Right, and that is healing. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Ooh, and that is uh, boost power. Definitely the spin attack I would like to remap. So I don't know if you can remap when you're in the game or not. I have like nothing new, not nothing bad to say. This is a solid, very good demo, very F Zero inspired, and like you, if you like a fast racing game like Wipeout, Extreme G Two or SMG and F Zero Zero X, you know, and those type of games there, it just feels really great. I think the art style fits. It runs great. It feels great. Uh, I'm upscaling this to 4K and my utilization is up to like 60%, 60 to 65, so we're like running great. Uh, but I want to see one thing here.
Okay, so why is it that... That's right button. Left string spin and right. This one. I think that's probably going to be better to have for attack. And I could have... I wonder if I'm going to need that or not. I could also change that to be a different one. <clears throat> I guess we can try this one to see if it's going to work better or not. Nice music, but very low audio here so far. <laughs> well, I missed every single one on that one, that's... Uh... Yeah, this is definitely better than the attack on the left button here. So this is just a... It looks like the... oh, oops. Yeah, it looks like he, the... The boost in F-Zero, you know, you held to boost. It feels like you press to get, like, a boost going, not like you don't hold. Gonna have to try that more. Uh, start off with the standard difficulty being pretty, you know, very accessible, which is nice. It still is uh, definitely fe definitely feels like uh, they are right up on your ass. I don't think that that was a great track, but hey, <laughs> I guess it uh, might be there to train you to using the strafe thing there. It is very simple but effective graphic here, so... Three, two, one, go. Oh shit, I remapped. Okay, it doesn't look like we have lives or anything like that, right? Well... Whoa, 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 very difficult to, like, get uh, control back one, once you... Whoa. Once you lose it, it's definitely quite challenging. And a weird combination here of the flying. <laughs> I can't say that I feel that the flying works that great. Uh, <laughs> it's 
quite finicky to get the hang of there, but hey, maybe once you get it going, it's an interesting... It's an interesting adding thing, but I think they might probably, for me personally, would have preferred if it were, you know, shorter. Like they feel like the, they are a bit long, but you, you know, you're gonna learn everything, so. Has that boost up? Yeah, I don't know. They, they feel just a tiny bit long. heavy music here fits the kind of style yeah I'm, I'm not a fan personally I'm not a fan personally here of the Three, two, hmm, one, uh, of the super long flying sections like I like to be this kind of a little bit of arrow but then I feel like Around here it should end. This It's not the smoothest thing. I don't even know what's happening. Something hit me and just took all my momentum away. Yeah. I'm not a fan of this long flying thing. It's cool, but I just think they are too long. They should be shorter. It's like, what happened to my momentum? Right, where did it go? It just doesn't feel like I'm in full control here. Obviously, it's gonna be a learning thing. Um... I know if it is the viewing angle or what it is, but... Like, I'm just losing momentum and I don't really know why sometimes. Okay, and once you hit the, the, the wall, you are going to be s just screwed. <laughs> you will bounce in and out of it quite a lot there. <laughs> that's that's more of just, you know, you need to learn the game better. But uh, I think it was like that in F-Zero also, so... It can be a frustrating when you're first starting this. That Like, once you start hitting the wall there, you will just... get destroyed like yeah I, I'm not fully sure exactly what's happening it seems like I'm getting like pushed down someplace am I missing like up or down draft it's not with the flying there it's not really getting I'm not fully you like utilizing and getting
Well, I missed every boost opportunity there. Like there, it felt like there was like a wind that just suddenly pushing me up. Or well, yeah, I think it was up, so I missed that. Uh, just made me miss. <laughs> just made me miss a boost thing um. <laughs> yeah not not a good track for me I think yeah I think this section did not really have the great feel to it fourth place yeah uh, the rest have been solid but this longer flying path I don't know I'm, it's not clicking to me I don't think they are that great. I think a shorter would be more fun. A little bit less air time there and more like one or two rings that you could like in one way or another fly through, race through. Um, but if you get the flying down, it, like how it works and everything, obviously that will be a nice addition to the game. Uh, me personally, no, not really a fan of the the long flying sections shorter yes and this is definitely again looks like it is one of the f-zero inspired tracks where you can like go around like in a loop thing on the track that the track isn't flat don't think i've gotten fully all of the driving techniques down with how sliding and stuff might work Right. Definitely is a cool style this, like the F0 deal. And I think they might have been the one whoa, whoa okay, oh, pressed the wrong button there. To introduce that. This style of track? Maybe not. Maybe a roll cage was before with like you with you could driving up on the steering and stuff like that a bit longer than uh, f zeros track I feel like yes. really I'm sorry, that was weird. There was no time for me to react to that. It was like zero, zero shot of me reacting to that. Like, how was I supposed to... I also think I prefer how F0 had the boost that um, that you hold down. This so far it fe feels like you just press once to do uh, like a boost. Final lap. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know. I just flew off the track. I had no no way to like counter that. Uh, First, like, what the fuck moment? Whoa, this can definitely get people a bit nauseous with all of the swooshing. There is one thing I would have liked to try, but I don't think I can try it within this. I'm gonna have to try it on a, like, a single race kind of thing. Yeah, that was weird. I flew just that little gap. I think that you close that, don't have that gap, because if you are unlucky, you're just gonna go zoom off the track. And you have no idea, no, you can't react to that. Uh, I would definitely say take that gap away. <laughs> Other than that, you know, it's a good starting difficulty and everything. Graphic is solid, music is solid. It, Overall, it feels pretty damn solid with uh, the steering, how that works. 
Uh, it's a top-notch demo, really great. The only thing is that uh, me personally haven't really gotten the flying down in a good manner. Uh, but that might just be a personal thing. I can... Big, so far, huge thumb up demo-wise. This is a perfect demo. It's showcasing solid menus with solid options. And... Uh, you know, it has a good chunk of the game to showcase, and it feels and plays very positive. Um, I'm gonna check after this GP Cup here. We're gonna check when it, if, the, if it has a release date. I forgot that. Uh, Woohoo! That is like the, those smaller ones I really like. Oh, oh shit! My bad. Let's see. Like, I don't mind crashing out at this stage here when they have, you know... <laughs> when they're missing, like, the side things. I think that adds to... And add to the excitement of the track. I might need to break in some of the corners. I haven't been doing that yet, and... Oops, I should have healed. So, like, here we might... <laughs> need to do that. Yeah, I might need to break in some of these instances. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oof. I try there. Maybe I have to let up on the... I need to try the driving things this was a bad race for me <laughs> what place tent quite a challenge there 24 <laughs> okay second place that's fine you completed blah 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 mm -hmm. Alright, that's good. I want to try to jump into single player here quickly. Uh, one thing also is... Uh, let's see... This one... This one could be looking maybe a little bit nicer. So let's remove... That's a nitpick, because you're probably not going to need this. Once you dial the performance in, you're not going to need this one, so... Um, I want to try a single... Do you lose your time practice round? Okay, let's let's just try this one, because we want to... I want to just verify a few things here. Well, not a few things, at least one thing here to start off with. Three, two, one, go! Right, so... This is max speed. Okay, so you can break. Good. I don't have to let go. Let go of. Uh... What I wanted to try was, I can break at the same time as I am, as I'm holding the the accelerator down. I can accelerate all the time, and then I can tap the brake. What if I do... Oh, oops, oops, sorry. I want to see if I can... You know? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, chill out, man. 
I was trying to see if I can get like a forced. Okay, no. No, cannot like force it into. That works. Okay, so that works, but if I wanna do. Aha! That's a speed attack. Okay. Right, so if I want to force this one to kind of start... You see, now I'm just going left and right and it kind of... It doesn't slide or spin out. And now I'm pressing the strafe. We go... It's a nice... And you can combine them together with like... You know, pretty faster. But if I do press both left and right strafe at the same time... Right? And we turn... Not here. I need a bit of a more space place. But if you press them both at the same time, we're gonna do this. We're gonna wait. I need a little bit of a wider play. Here we go. So, we're gonna press both left and right and turn left here. Both the strafe buttons. See, you can kind of force the slide to start. So, without using that, just... Okay, stop. Holy hell, it's annoying when you... Once you hit that, it just gets such weird, weird, right? But if I press both, I can kind of force a slide to happen. If I need that, like for a curve, a short turn, it might be good to do like both at the same time. To get this kind of going. All right, main menu. Quit. Right. I think we have showcased like what the game has to offer here. You can try this yourself. Um, yeah, it's a really, really solid. This is how a demo should pretty much be. You know, you have you have resolution, you have window full screen. Uh, it's nice to have this as like extra. V-Sync is definitely a really good one to have. A few nice little options to tweak the performance. This is a amazing quality of life thing to have the render scale and you know you have some good menu choice it doesn't start at the menu doesn't uh, the audio doesn't start at like the crank the shit out of things you have remapping from the get-go in uh, the game and a few of things that you can tweak uh, dead zones uh, that's nice felt pretty good as it was so probably not a big thing here for me and i all oh right toggle acceleration this is really nice to have so since you're pretty much only gonna need braking right once you start accelerating you don't you're not gonna need to let go of it so you can have it as a toggle which is which is great then you just need to like tap brake or tap left or right uh, and the strafe when you need it and don't have to const constantly constantly hold down the acceleration button because when you get all the mechanics down, you're not gonna be letting go of the acceleration. It's also nice that you have a little bit of, you know, the of, of the option here. This is interesting that you can like tweak this one to your liking. Um, I guess we can try this on a on a higher field of view to see how that looks. If it looks good or not with higher FOV here. Oh yeah, there was one more thing that I wanted to check. Three, two, one, go! All right. Oh, here we go. So you can also change the view. Oh, this in VR would be cool. <laughs> I would have liked um, to see the car there. Or the vehicles front a little bit, but for VR, this would be um, really cool for VR. I would have enjoyed this in VR. I don't have a VR headset, unfortunately. Would really love to get that.
Damn it. <laughs> I don't know if I needed to break, but maybe I did. Yeah. This is a challenging map for sure. place right I, I don't know if I f could see tell them big different when cranking the FOV there but it's nice that you have the option so main menu we're gonna stop here so yeah uh, right we're gonna see if there's a date what is the plan in the future the only thing that is a nitpicky thing is that I don't see why you're pausing the audio when you tab out um, pause the entire game if you're gonna have to, but just pausing audio when you tab out, I don't know. That's that's gonna be a personal thing. Since I'm doing videos, for me that the audio pauses is, you know, an annoyance. But if you, you know, playing this game and you need to check something or take a, like a Discord call or something, then it's probably great that the audio pauses. So this is just like a personal thing. It's not like the game sucks because it pauses, it does... Uh, to me, I'm not a fan of that. Either a toggle in a settings that pause the game when I tab, that's great. Uh, and then pause the entire game so it doesn't utilize your GPU and everything. Here it just mutes the audio and I... Uh, yeah, it's not what I personally like. Coming soon, there is no date for it. So no, no like released release a date or anything like that doesn't seem to be saying anything about early access um so yeah so thanks for watching stay tuned for more demos coming up you can leave a like a comment you can follow check back to this channel if you want to do that and check this one out hopefully it will be up when you see this video because this is a solid demo so i don't i don't see why you like would showcase this during like a steam next race one week and then take it down it seems like it's a weird choice but hey you never know but yeah thanks for watching have a great day and uh, bye for this time